Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher king, once said, Our life is what our thoughts make it. This profound insight lays the foundation for this video, where we'll explore essential lessons from Stoicism. By understanding and controlling our inner landscape as Aurelius suggests, we can transform ourselves. This is not just a passive viewing experience, it's an interactive journey, and we invite you to actively participate, sharing your perspectives on each topic we discuss. Stay with us to the end, as this journey promises not just knowledge, but an opportunity for deep self-reflection and transformation. Let's begin. 1. Explaining yourself to those who cause you pain. When you've been hurt by someone you once considered a close friend, remember this. You don't owe them a lengthy explanation or a dramatic showdown. The smartest move is simply to move on. It's not about getting even or demanding apologies. It's about protecting your peace. You might find yourself in a situation where this person comes back asking for your help. Trust me, a firm no is all you need. You're not obligated to lend a hand to someone who's broken your trust. Steering clear of drama and quietly putting distance between you and them is often the wisest decision you can make. Let time reveal the consequences of their actions. Focus on taking care of yourself. Let the future unfold as it will. It's often the best way to let both of you grow. So, keep it real. You don't have to keep people in your life who disrespect you. Everyone deserves to be appreciated for who they are. And stepping away from those who don't is actually a brave choice. It's about choosing your mental health and growth over unnecessary drama. Like Marcus Aurelius said, the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injustice. Don't stoop to their level. Instead, invest in becoming the best version of yourself, cultivating your inner peace and character. That's the real deal. 2. Unnecessary Goals Light's journey often requires us to make crucial decisions, act deliberately, and remain faithful to our authentic selves. In this process, it's vital to recognize when certain goals no longer serve our true purpose. Letting go of these goals is not only normal but necessary, as it allows us to focus on what truly matters. However, an important aspect of this process is discretion in how we do it. Avoid broadcasting every change or decision. There's no need to share your every move with the world. This caution helps safeguard your overall strategy and intentions as you navigate through these changes. Do so subtly, ensuring that your actions are aligned with your core values and identity. Make these adjustments quietly, adapting as situations unfold, always valuing the power of privacy in your strategic life choices. This approach not only simplifies your path, but also maintains the integrity of your personal journey. In the words of Seneca, a prominent Stoic philosopher, it is not that we have so little time, but that we lose so much. The life we receive is not short, but we make it so. We are not ill provided, but use what we have wastefully. This quote resonates deeply with the concept of focusing on essential goals and letting go of the unnecessary, reminding us to use our time and efforts wisely. 3. Oversharing. The end of relationships, be it friendship or romance, requires maintaining discretion about intimate details. Sharing specifics about conflicts or reasons for a breakup not only disrespects the privacy shared between you and the other individual, but also fuels unnecessary gossip, complicating the situation further. Instead, it's more beneficial to internalize and reflect on these experiences. This practice not only honors the privacy of both parties, but also facilitates a more profound personal healing process. If you find yourself compelled to discuss these personal matters, it may be a sign of unresolved emotional issues. Instead of seeking external outlets, engage in self-dialogue to understand and process these feelings. This approach ensures that any problematic relationship is resolved with dignity without making it a subject of public discourse. In doing so, you safeguard your emotional well-being and that of others involved, fostering a more respectful and discreet healing journey. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, 
a stoic philosopher. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This quote resonates deeply with the idea of focusing inward and controlling our reactions to external situations, particularly in the delicate context of relationship breakdowns. 4. Raising your voice in front of others. During periods of frustration or anger, imagine you're in a heated meeting, your heart pounding with frustration. We've all been there, haven't we? In those moments, the temptation to let our anger loose is immense. But what if instead, we choose to speak softly, to harness that fiery energy, not in shouts but in steady, calm words? This is not just about keeping face. It's a journey toward mastering our inner storms. Think back to a time when you witnessed someone lose their cool. How did it make you feel? Uncomfortable, perhaps even disappointed. Now, picture someone who, despite the chaos, remained serene, their voice a soothing balm in a sea of noise. That's the person we all aspire to be, isn't it? It's in these trials, these tests of our spirit, that we find our true strength. Transforming anger into action, frustration into focus. It's like alchemy of the soul. It's not just about biting back angry words. It's about channeling that energy into something that moves us forward, that turns stumbling blocks into stepping stones. Heraclitus was onto something when he said, to be even-minded is the greatest virtue. It's a reminder that in the eye of the storm, our calm is our greatest weapon, our balance the truest form of bravery. So next time the waves of emotion surge, remember this. The power to remain undisturbed, to speak in whispers when the world expects shouts, is not just a virtue. It's a superpower, uniquely yours. 5. Spreading negative opinions about others. Think about the last time you heard someone bad-mouthing another person. Didn't it make you wonder what they say when you're not around? Spreading negative opinions about others is a slippery slope. It's easy to get caught up in the heat of the moment, but those words, once out, stick to you like shadows, casting a dark light on your character. It's more than just being diplomatic. It's about being the kind of person others trust and respect. You don't have to like everyone, but remember, every person you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. Now, picture this. You're faced with a challenging person or situation. It's tempting to let your judgments fly, isn't it? But here's the catch. In that moment, you have the power to shift the narrative. Choose empathy over disdain, conversation over conflict. It's tough, no doubt. You'll feel everything from frustration to compassion, maybe even a hint of admiration for their tenacity. This approach isn't just about keeping the peace. It's about understanding the complex tapestry of human emotions and interactions. In doing so, you don't just build bridges. You become a person who can navigate the tumultuous waters of relationships with finesse and heart. 6. Constantly comparing yourself to others. The relentless chase of comparing ourselves to others is like running on a treadmill with no off switch. It's exhausting, unending, and frankly, a thief of joy. Think about it. Every time you glance sideways, tallying up someone else's milestones against your own, you're not just selling yourself short. You're completely missing the beauty of your unique story. This habit, this compulsion to measure up, often leaves us feeling like we're perpetually lagging behind, chaining us to a cycle of self-doubt and dissatisfaction. Now flip the script. What if you start celebrating your quirks, your missteps, your victories, no matter how small? It's not about ignoring the world around you, but about embracing your journey, raw and unfiltered. Life's not a neatly scripted series where everyone's reading from the same script. It's messy, unpredictable, and wildly divergent. Your story with its ups and downs, its triumphs and setbacks, is a testament to your resilience, your individuality. So dive into your own narrative. Let it be a spectrum of emotions, from the grit of frustration to the high of achievements, uniquely yours. As you own your journey, you're not just moving forward, 
you're rewriting the rules of the game on your terms. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, control your perceptions, direct your actions properly, willingly accept what's outside your control. This quote resonates deeply with the concept of focusing on our path, rather than comparing ourselves with others. 7. Mindless use of social media. Consider your life as a unique narrative, full of rich experiences and personal growth. Social media, in contrast, is a vast repository of everyone else's stories, often only their best moments. This disparity can lead to unfair comparisons and a sense of dissatisfaction with our own lives. It's vital, therefore, to approach social media with intention, using it for specific purposes, such as seeking inspiration, connections, or information, and then stepping back into the reality of our journey. To achieve this, try scheduling specific times for social media use, like during morning coffee or after work, to avoid its constant intrusion. Before each interaction online, pause to ask, is this constructive or merely a distraction? Such mindfulness helps separate meaningful engagement from mindless scrolling. If you notice a decline in mood or self-esteem linked to social media use, consider taking a break. This period away is an opportunity to engage in fulfilling real-world activities that reaffirm the value of your unique life story. By making these adjustments, you create space to appreciate your life's narrative, free from endless comparisons, and more focused on what truly enriches your existence. 8. The Pursuit of External Validation Today, let's explore a liberating concept, breaking free from the relentless quest for external approval. Picture yourself on a stage, spotlight on you, surrounded by a sea of faces, each one ready to judge how you act, speak, and exist. This scenario, overwhelming and restrictive, highlights the suffocating nature of living for others' approval. Now, imagine stepping off that stage into a calm, serene space where your voice is the one that matters most. This shift symbolizes the importance of prioritizing your inner voice over external judgments. Living for others' approval leads us away from our true selves and desires, like wearing ill-fitting clothes just to please others. Recall the moments of genuine fulfillment in your life. They likely occurred when you were true to your values and beliefs, independent of others' expectations. This is the core of authentic living. To incorporate this into daily life, start with introspection. Before making decisions, question your motives. Is it for you or for others? Trust your intuition, acknowledge your needs, and work on building your self-esteem. Celebrate your achievements, learn from mistakes, and value your qualities. Remember, self-acceptance is a journey marked by small yet significant triumphs. Also, nurture relationships that respect your individuality and encourage your true self. By shedding the weight of external approval, we pave the way for a more authentic, fulfilling life journey where we are the main characters, guided by authenticity and bravery. 9. Perfectionism In our quest for self-improvement, it's essential to address the pitfalls of perfectionism. This mindset, while seemingly beneficial, often leads to stress and a feeling of never being good enough. Perfectionism sets impossibly high standards and fosters a fear of mistakes. However, embracing our imperfections is key to personal growth and happiness. Life, much like art, becomes more enriching and authentic when we allow room for imperfection. To combat perfectionism, start by embracing your limitations and understanding that mistakes are part of learning. Shift your aim from being perfect to being excellent, which means doing your best while knowing there's always room for growth. Practice self-compassion and be gentle with yourself when things don't go as planned. Celebrate your efforts and understand that every experience contributes to your journey. Finally, redefine success not as a flawless outcome, but as the journey itself, filled with learning and personal growth. Letting go of perfectionism opens up a world of possibilities, where mistakes are seen as opportunities. This mindset fosters a more relaxed and authentic life, 
allowing you to appreciate the beauty of your humanity and the unique path you're on. 10. Holding on to unrealistic expectations. Embarking on life's grand journey, we often set sails of expectation, charting courses towards dreams and desires. Yet these very sails can swell into monstrous proportions, morphing into unrealistic fantasies that toss us into the stormy seas of disappointment and disillusion. Like sailors lured by mythical sirens, we chase perfection in ourselves, in others, and in our experiences, a quest as futile as seeking horizons that retreat as we approach. These gargantuan expectations, often born from society's whispers and media's roars, can blind us to the beauty of our authentic selves and the raw, unfiltered reality of life. The path to shedding these deceptive illusions begins with a fierce, unflinching honesty with oneself. It's a journey of peeling back the layers of shoot haves and could haves to reveal the core of our true aspirations. It's about recognizing the weight of these expectations and courageously asking whether they elevate or crush our spirits. This is no fairy tale transformation. It's a gritty, sometimes painful acknowledgement of life's imperfections and our own limitations. It's about setting goals that resonate with who we truly are, not who we're told to be. Each small victory, each step forward, becomes a testament to our resilience. In this journey, the beauty lies not in the destination, but in the rich tapestry of experiences woven along the way. Letting go of unrealistic expectations doesn't just unburden us. It opens our eyes to the unexpected wonders of life, teaching us to navigate its tumultuous waters with a heart that's open to every ebb and flow every joy and heartache that comes our way. 11. Gossiping Engaging in gossip and negative chatter can sometimes feel like a shortcut to connection, but it's a path that often leads us astray. Words, much like seeds, have the power to grow gardens or spread weeds. When we choose to nurture our conversations with kindness and understanding, we cultivate a landscape where trust and respect flourish. It's a journey, though, and not always an easy one. There are moments when joining in the gossip feels tempting, perhaps even justified. But here's a challenge. Next time you're on the brink of speaking or listening to something negative, pause. Think about the person in question as someone with their own struggles and triumphs, just like you. Steering clear of gossip isn't just about creating a positive environment. It's about honoring our shared humanity. And when you lead by example, you're not just avoiding negativity. You're lighting a path for others to find their way to a more empathetic and genuine way of connecting. Conclusion By embracing these stoic principles, we can foster a mindset that is resilient, empathetic, and positive, leading to authentic personal development and deeper connections in our relationships. As we conclude this exploration, we encourage you to Asterisk subscribe to our channel to continue your journey of self-discovery. Asterisk share your thoughts and reflections in the comments below, fostering a community of shared learning. Asterisk like and share this video if it resonated with you, spreading the timeless wisdom of stoicism. Asterisk consider subscribing to our channel to embark on this path of growth and transformation together. From the depths of our hearts, we express our sincere gratitude for joining us on this odyssey of self-discovery. May our collective journey lead us towards enlightenment and empowerment as we navigate the labyrinth of life with courage, resilience, and unwavering determination. Until we meet again, let us continue to learn and grow together.